How you doing folks? In this video I'm going to show you various Mothman and West Virginia themed shirts I've got over the years. So this one is from the Point Pleasant River Museum. Here we see a Mothman based on the stainless steel statue. And yes, he does have dreadlocks because the statue is based off of a bodybuilder from a magazine who had dreadlocks. This is the Small Town Monsters t-shirt for the Mothman Legacy movie. And we see Mothman with the silver bridge behind and the creature is grabbing a sandhill crane. The sandhill crane was given as an explanation from the newspapers as for what the creature could be. I think it was Robert Smith from West Virginia University told the newspaper that that was a, a plausible explanation. Mothman celebrating 50 years of terror. This is from the 2016 Mothman Festival. And on the back we have this John Keel quote. The universe does not exist as we think it exists, and we do not exist as we think we exist. John Keel. John Keel is of course the author of the Mothman Prophecies. This is a t-shirt from the Coffee Grinder in Point Pleasant, West Virginia. And uh, it has the Mothman eyes over where Mason County is. And so 1966 through question mark, Mason County, West Virginia. He's still here, implying that the creature still exists there in Mason County, West Virginia. You can see there the coffee grinder on the sleeve. This is a depiction of the Flatwoods Monster on a skateboard by the artist Andy Finkel, who was a vendor at the Mothman Festival. This is a Small Town Monsters t-shirt from their movie Momo, the Missouri Monster. Here we see the Sasquatch creature and the UFOs in the background. It uses some negative space. And on the back we have the Small Town Monsters logo and it says crew member. This was one of the first Mothman t-shirts I got. It's from the Mothman Museum. This is another Small Town Monsters t-shirt. I got this one for supporting their Kickstarter. It has a very interesting depiction of the Flatwoods Monster there, the Bray Road Beast, Champ from Lake Champlain, and some flying saucers there, as well as the Small Town Monsters logo, and Creature Replica, who makes the figures that went with his Kickstarter. So this is a t-shirt from their Kickstarter campaign, and I wore this shirt in my Grafton Monster video. Here is another Mothman Museum t-shirt that has some newspaper clippings in the background. This one here tells the story of Kenneth Duncan who supposedly saw a winged creature on November 12th, 1966 in Clendenin, West Virginia. And I visited that exact cemetery, Reamer Hill, in 2019. Here we have a Flatwoods Fire Department shirt. It has a Flatwoods monster, or the Braxton County monster, or Braxy, or whatever we'd like to call it, here with the home of the Flatwoods monster. And this is the front of the shirt. And this is a t-shirt for a fellow Fordian YouTuber who I collaborated with at the Mothman Festival a few times. His channel no longer has this name or this logo, but he's a paranormal researcher from Alabama. Here is a Mothman Festival t-shirt from another paranormal YouTuber who I collaborated with. Uh, he goes by Epic Paranormal TV, and this is from 2017. And then here is the Small Town Monsters logo t-shirt. Here's a t-shirt that Seth Breedlove gave me. It's a Halloween themed version of the Small Town Monsters logo. Here's one I got from a vendor at the Mothman Festival. This one's really fun. It's one of those Midnight Spook Show posters. Direct from space, the Flatwoods Monster. Midnight Spook Show. Friday, September 12th, 1952. That's the date of the sighting. Tremble with thrills, shiver with suspense. And there we have a very classic sci-fi looking Flatwoods Monster there and a flying saucer. Some of these I got from random vendors at the Mothman Festival or from gift shops that are no longer available. So many of these t-shirts I have absolutely no idea where you'd get them from and many of them are no longer available. So I apologize if anyone wants to get these shirts and you can't find them. There's really nothing I can do about that. Here we have a t-shirt for Paranormal Quest, which is a fellow West Virginia paranormal research channel. I don't know if they still use this logo. Here is a t-shirt from the world's only U.S. Navy Poster Museum that used to be located in Point Pleasant, West Virginia. This store no longer exists. Here's another Mothman Museum t-shirt. Watch your back for the Men in Black. Here's another 2016 Mothman t-shirt, Mothman 50 Years of Terror. I think this one is glow in the dark. This is from the state park down there to Windowy, which means a point between two waters. And this t-shirt says, I saw the Mothman at Tewindui State Park, Point Pleasant, West Virginia. I like that their representation of Mothman is just the clip art of a bird. I've never worn this t-shirt because I have yet to see the Mothman at Tewindui. 
If I ever see Moth meant to window weave, then maybe I will wear this t-shirt, but until then, it's not exactly accurate. Here's the back of that shirt. This is another State Park t-shirt with the slogan, Get to the Point. Pretty cool slogan. Another State Park t-shirt. Here is another Small Town Monsters t-shirt for their movie, The Mothman of Point Pleasant. 13 months that changed history. This is a Mothman Museum t-shirt. Here is a t-shirt from the former West Virginia State Penitentiary in Moundsville. This is from their paranormal tour. Here is a t-shirt that is particularly gruesome. This is Old Sparky, the electric chair from Moundsville, West Virginia. I got this from the gift shop because I thought it was kind of sensationalist. So as a political side note, uh, capital punishment is morally wrong in all cases. And here we have a t-shirt from the former Weston, West Virginia hospital that was once called the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum. It's a very classic kind of gothic building. There is no reason why an individual who has the misfortune to become insane should, on that account, be deprived of any comfort or even luxury. Dr. Thomas Story Kirkbride, and this is a Kirkbride building. Of course the people there were not treated ethically. This is from the River Museum that was in Point Pleasant, West Virginia. I think it's moved locations, but I got this at the location before it burned down. This is the Silver Bridge, Point Pleasant, West Virginia, 1928 to 1967. The Silver Bridge, of course, collapsed on December 15th, 1967, and killed 46 people. This is a t-shirt from the Flatwoods Monster Museum, which is in Sutton, West Virginia. This is another Mothman Museum t-shirt. This is a tie-dye shirt from a vendor at the Mothman Festival. This is another t-shirt by the artist Andy Finkel. You can see his name there. And it says West Virginia 1966 on the license plate. This t-shirt is very accurate to the legend of the Mothman because the Scarberry Mallets were indeed in a black 1957 Chevy. The Mothman was of course described as light gray in coloration, having no arms, and staying behind the vehicle at all times, never going in front of the headlights. And the witnesses speculated that the Mothman, or the bird as they called it, was afraid of the lights because it never went in front of the car and it veered off before they went into the lights of town. So this is a very cartoonish yet accurate depiction according to the witnesses because the creature was not at all moth-like, but a bird creature. This is a museum owned by Steve Hummel, who was a member of Paranormal Quest, the previously mentioned West Virginia Paranormal YouTube channel. This is a t-shirt from its first location, so the logo may have changed. This is a location that has many supposedly haunted items. And I'll also add as a disclaimer that I believe there is no such thing as an afterlife. Here we have another Small Town Monsters t-shirt. This is from their documentary the Flatwoods Monster, A Legacy of Fear. This is one that I funded on Kickstarter, and this is a Kickstarter campaign t-shirt. I think it might also glow in the dark. Here is a Mothman shirt from an antique store in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, called The Mason Jar. It has the artist credit there. And it says, The Point Pleasant Pheasant. So I thought that was kind of funny. Another 50th anniversary Mothman. This is from a vendor at the Mothman Festival. It says, Mothman Fan Club, West Virginia. And you can see once again, this is a very witness accurate Mothman depicted there as gray, headless, no arms, and feathery wings. This is one of the first Mothman t-shirts I got from the Mothman Museum. It simply says Mothman Search Team, Point Pleasant, West Virginia. And it also says this on the arms, Mothman Search Team. Here we have an Elk River water trail with the Flatwoods Monster in a canoe. Braxton County, center yourself here. This is from the Flatwoods Monster Museum. The world's only Mothman Museum, Point Pleasant, West Virginia. I wonder where I got this one from, not sure. You know, could be from anywhere. And yet another Mothman Museum t-shirt. You can see how they depict Mothman as very comic book-like, almost like he's Spider-Man. You see, he has arms, which is inaccurate, his wings here are leathery and bat-like, which is not accurate to the original witnesses of 1966. He has a head here, when the original witnesses said his head was ambiguous, asked if he had a head or not. And oftentimes they depict him in shadow or silhouette, but in actuality the witnesses said he was light gray in coloration, some even describing him as lunar. So kind of this color would actually be accurate. And here is a t-shirt for the Bridgewater Triangle. This was given to me by Lauren Coleman at the Mothman Festival in 2016. 
I believe this is a documentary and also a Fordian concept that he put forward about this triangle. I know that it relates to certain folklore, such as the Pukwajis, so it's kind of interesting. He gave this to me because I sent him a West Virginia pin board with Mothman sightings on it. And last but not least, this is the most recent tourism t-shirt I've purchased, the Historic Low Hotel. And yes, it is the Historic and Haunted Low Hotel in Point Pleasant, West Virginia. I've stayed here many times. It is rumored to be haunted. It's right there on the main street across from the Mothman Museum, so it's a very convenient spot for the Mothman Festival. And so those are my Mothman and West Virginia tourism t-shirts. So thanks for watching this video, and Mountaineers are always free.